with Photography 101, Photographing Small Children. We have some great tips for you. Things to do and say while photographing your child in order to get beautiful photos. We love those candid photos. And at the very end of our video, I'm going to show you specific settings to put into your camera so that you can maximize the potential of those photos. Stay tuned. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making when photographing their children or photographers just starting out is just standing up in your normal stature, your normal position, and taking a photo of a child. What you really need to do is get down on eye level. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of me photographing my son in our backyard. I'm down at his level, I am having him look at me, I'm engaging with him. You, you can prompt your child by telling them, you know, smell the flower, or look at mommy in the eye, or can you see inside my lens? And those different things are going to engage with your child, and you're probably going to get a couple smiles just because it's fun, it's different, and you're playing with them. These two guys, when I first started out with photography, were lifesavers. What these are, I call them lens buddies, and it's seriously just cardboard with felt on top that I hot glued, and I made little creatures, and I would say, can you see the worm coming out of the apple? Yeah, do you like apples? Do you see the caterpillar? Is he hungry? Have you read that story? And it would get them to think, you would get those thoughtful glances, it would get them to smile because maybe they recognize this hungry little caterpillar, or they thought the little worm coming out of the apple was silly. So these totally helped to engage small children when I was first starting out. If you're not going to be photographing your child at eye level, you need to make it intentional, make it a dramatic change. So when you are below them, shoot way below them. Shoot up at them so they look like a superhero, so they look like a giant in the photos and they look big and proud. If you're gonna take a photo of them below you, make it exaggerated. So make sure that they're almost directly below you when you're shooting down and make sure you focus in on their eyes. When you're photographing the child, be sure to take um, a distant shot so that you're actually getting their whole body and then zoom in because what zooming in does is it actually tends to blur out the background and it allows you to focus in on them and it makes them the most important part of the photo. Use selective focus and focus in on their eye every time, one of their eyes. Put that little red dot right on their eye, draw the attention to the eye, pull out those eyelashes, brighten up their face. That's how you get magical looking photos. Filling the frame is one of the things I absolutely love to do. If you look at all of my photos, the ones that really pop and the ones that really stand out are the ones where I have filled the frame with their face shoulders up. Those are the ones that really speak to me because you see the details in their eyes, their face, their expression. Those things really capture the character of your child. 
With any camera that I'm using, my go-to settings for photographing pretty much anything, whether it be a flower, a child, portraits, engagement photos, wedding photos, for the actual portraiture portion of those photo shoots, I will always, always, always shoot in aperture priority mode on a Canon that is going to be your AV mode on a Nikon that is going to be your A. With each lens, it's a little bit different. This is my 50 millimeter. It is currently on my Canon T3i. This can go down to an F1.8. That is your aperture. That is how wide open your aperture is. Having that wide open aperture is going to allow lots of light in and it gives you a shallow depth of field which makes your backgrounds blurry. I'm going to have another video that gives you specifics on what is aperture, what is shutter speed, what is ISO, why do those, why are those things important. So um, there is a very technical side to photography. I tend to dabble in the technical side but focus on the creative side. I love the blurry backgrounds, so I always use a small or the smallest aperture I can. On the 50 millimeter, it's 1.8, F 1.8. On my go-to lens, the 24 to 105, that only goes down to a four. So one of the things to maximize that blurry background is you take it down to the F 4.0, and then you zoom in. That will actually take your depth of field even lower. And I'm telling you, you guys, it's gorgeous. So even if you have the standard lens, the 18 to 55, um, that just came with your camera, take it down to the lowest aperture. It's gonna be F 5.6, I believe. So if you take it down to that and use selective focus, when you hit that button, you're going to look inside your viewfinder and scroll till you see the little red box move around. And what you're going to do, at least what I do, is I put it either on the left side or the right side. Then it's important that you are not right in the middle because what happens if you're super zoomed in and you focus in on one eye, you're probably going to get a shot like this, right? You're going to cut off the bottom of their face or the top of their head. So. I typically will put it one dot to the left or to the right. The next setting you're going to want to put on your camera, it's called AI Servo. And what that means is when you hold your shutter release button down halfway and it focuses, if your child moves and you move to, to wherever they're going and say they took a step back and you are still holding it down, it will actually refocus. Just keep that red dot right on their eye and it'll actually refocus with them if they move forward and back so that it's constantly refocusing for you. There have been so many times before I started using AI Servo that I would focus in on a child, they'd step back or step forward and that shot would be blurry. So to prevent that from happening, keep your camera on AI Servo and Literally, I have it on AI Servo all the time. No matter who I'm shooting, if they move just a little bit, my picture can be out of focus or it's not focused in on their eye because they've moved. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please take photos of your children, take photos of other people's children, practice, practice, practice. That's how you get better. You get more familiar with your camera, the more comfortable you become, and you will start taking those beautiful photos. So in review, get down on their level, be at eye level, whether it is a six month old, whether it is a two year old, whether it is a 10 year old, get on their level, zoom in, nice and close, fill the frame with their face. So please, if you follow my instructions, tag me on Instagram at details by Hillary, or 
at capture.create.explore on Instagram. Thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Bye.